Just a, a little warm tonight, but daytime temperatures this week went in the 90s. Yeah, we're going to probably get up to that 90 degree mark. Um, not Thursday so much, but on Friday mm -hmm. and possibly might last through Saturday. And by then, we're probably going to be breaking daytime high records, which are currently sitting at the mid 80s, so it wouldn't be too hard to get past that as we get to Thursday and Friday and Saturday. 58 degrees right now in Portland. Uh, wind out of the northwest at 10 miles per hour and our dew point at 47. So these conditions are good. Onshore flow helps us and it brings in cooler, moist air. We like to see that. We're going to see the the complete opposite of this, though, by the time we get to tomorrow, but more so pronounced on Thursday. So your temperature normally 66 degrees is your normal high for this time of year. We did manage to get up to 80 degrees briefly here at PDX. Everywhere else we were in the upper 70s, with the exception, of course, of the coastline, where our coastal temperatures only reached the upper 50s to low 60s. Currently, we're still at 68 degrees, the Dalles. Uh, Central Oregon, you're now down to the mid 50s. We're in the mid to low 50s, Salem down through Eugene and over to Newport. So onshore flow at the moment. This reverses though, as soon as we get to the next couple of days. And all this doesn't help any of our allergies, no matter which direction the wind is coming from. But when the wind direction comes from the east, that just dries everything out, including your nose. So get ready for it the next few days. The grass and tree pollen is going be considered high all the way through the end of the week. Uh, high pressure is in charge and what we'll notice is as high pressure expands, we're going to see some tighter pressure gradients, which to you and me basically means stronger winds. So here we go. There's that ridge of high pressure and then watch how it flattens out by the time we get to next Tuesday and Wednesday. And then this next trough digs in. That's going to spell cool weather and even a chance of some sprinkles by the time we get to next Wednesday. Until then, this is what we have to deal with. Watch these winds change direction pretty dramatically by the time we get to Thursday. We go from onshore to offshore winds coming from the east northeast and look at those wind speeds gusting up towards of uh, 25 to 35 miles per hour. And along with that, notice the pattern. It goes all the way out to the coastline. That's why we're talking about the possibility of some of our coastal regions reaching temperatures up to 80 degrees by this coming Thursday and Friday. Not the case tomorrow. Tomorrow still a hint of an onshore flow. Daytime highs tomorrow at the coast will remain in the low to mid 60s inland valleys. We'll get up to about 81 for us in Portland, 78 Salem, Madras 78, Ben 75. We get over to the Gorge, Hood River, a high of 81, the Dalles up to 83, Government Camp 68 degrees. So, yes, some of our favorite snowy areas are rapidly melting, but we still have a pretty good snowpack up there, so we're not going to lose it all in one week. But you'll notice some of your favorite trails, maybe around that 3,000 or 4,000 foot mark. You're going to be watching uh, some perhaps muddy trails instead. But look at that Friday, Saturday, low 90s. But there was relief in sight, and that's next Monday and Tuesday. All right, thank you. Thanks.